Saturday morning we are getting ready to head out to the airport it is so early right now it is currently 4 a.m. and of course in typical Bella fashion I forgot where I put my name necklace so I have to make another one right now at 4 in the morning before we leave for this trip <sighs> We just got to the airport, so first time this airport, we're actually in, in Austin. In Austin, yeah. Right now, they're literally boarding a flight to go to Miami, and our flight's not for another like hour and a half, and it's just past the close off time. I literally think there's seats on there, so we really wish you could have gotten the earlier flight because normally we are very blessed to be able to go to some lounge because we have a priority pass, and Austin is one of the few airports that does not have a priority pass lounge. And we're used to the one in Dallas, and that, that used to be our home airport, and there's a Capital One lounge there, and that is our favorite lounge ever, and they don't have that here, yeah. so it's like, it's sad that our new home airport doesn't have any uh, lounges that we have yeah. access to, so. And then the lounge in Miami, there is one, so like, oh, we can get there early instead of that lounge. Yeah. That's okay. This is actually a pretty nice, comfortable little looking airport. It's very small compared to Dallas. So it's not even different terminals. It's just one terminal, which is so small. But of Tulsa. Yeah. But so we're just gonna sit here for an hour and a half, and then we'll get on our flight to Miami. So we have officially made it to Miami. We'll end it around 11 o'clock. It is around 3-ish p.m. now. We basically went to the lounge. We got a nice little lunch and then we came to our little hotel. We could not actually get into our room yet. So we went- At that about, point. Yeah. yeah. So we got, uh, we got the, I said earlier, our check-in was kind of like till not till four o'clock. So we went downstairs. We actually saw some of our friends. So we hung out with them for a couple hours and then we got checked in. They were super nice. They gave us some like drinks. I think it's like yeah. a pina colada. It's good. Which is- um, And it's frozen. Yeah. So we did that oh. and then, oh, <laughs> <laughs> and now our plan is we're really really tired because we're gonna for like three hours but we want to go to the beach and so we'll give you a little room tour and then we're gonna go to the beach take a nap and then we gotta take a shower get all ready and then we're gonna hang out with our friends tonight because a bunch of people coming here to party and so i am really excited for that we are currently at the clevelander hotel in south beach we have two beds here we're actually we have our room to ourselves this time so we're actually going to use this bed as our like dirty bed <laughs> so not not, like not as in yeah, not as in playing dirty, but as in like uh, we're gonna we're still in like our um, airport clothes and stuff, and so we're gonna go to the beach, and so we'll probably want to take a nap before we, we shower. shower. But I, I don't think we're gonna get in the ocean anyway, so yeah. it's just like sweaty, dirty, you know. So then we can lay in that one, and we that's also our dirty bed. Put our backpack up there if we need to, anything like that. Yeah, we're kind of like weird about my costume, especially <laughs> me. And then um, we have this one, which is our sleeping bed that we're going to be in. And then I have my little squishy mellow pace there. Um, here is our view. Well, that's what that? the, the ocean. Where? Oh, that's so nice. Oh. Look how close we are to the ocean. That's super so that's where close. we're gonna walk. So that's really, really nice. The pool is really fun. Um, there's a lot of like bachelor, bachelorette parties, and it kind of gives a honestly, it kind of gives a temptation vibe, I'd say. But we can actually film it because yeah, because those are not swingers. I I mean they could be, but I don't but know. There's nothing incriminating <laughs> about that. Here's the bathroom. Hello. Time to go to the beach. I don't know if you can hear but it's the music you can hear. It's so loud from right here. And <laughs> we use the restroom and kind of looking around. See, the toilet's interesting. I haven't ever seen this type of <laughs> toilet flusher in a uh, hotel bathroom before. And, and then like we got this going on here. So yeah, for, it, I, it's definitely not, price-wise not worth what it's um, priced at for the amenities in the room, but I do think because of the location and because 
you know, you have the party here. That's probably what you're, that's, paying, that's for. What you're paying for. Thanks. This might be the closest I feel like we've ever stayed to the beach. Like, that's literally our hotel. We've probably been walking for like 45 seconds. What time we stayed at the Airbnb? Remember that? It was, was further like, than this, though. Was it? It's like one minute. And look, literally, the beach. finished our sushi dinner and then we did go to McDonald's because well it was wonderful and I really really wanted a quarter pounder and I really <laughs> wanted chicken nuggets and we got both and so now we're delicious. about we're about to walk back to our little um, hotel now but look at this thing that we found that's huge that's you pretty cool it. yeah it's just like an art installation so tell them what happened at the sushi restaurant and why it took so long for us to get your sushi. oh yeah I put my name down and then they were calling everyone or so I was like it's like it's taking a long time but maybe you know they're busy and everything and then I went up and asked like oh what was your name and they said it's not Chica <laughs> so the girl put my name in as Chica and not Jace and so when they called yeah, and I didn't Chica put Bella like he was the one who yeah. went up and did it so. and so I didn't know how she Chica. got Chica from Jace so that's why I waited for a while to get our food, but it was wonderful. So overall, it's just been a really, really nice day in Miami. The weather's supposed to be bad tomorrow, so we're gonna kind of see how that changes our plans. But we're gonna go on a nice little walk home and just yeah, have a nice rest of the evening. We're back in our room, and I don't know if you can hear the music in the background. So we thought, I mean, this is a, this is a nice hotel. I'm glad we stayed, but it's so loud. Like we tried to take a nap early because we didn't sleep much last night because our flight was so early. I had to wear these and there was noise canceling. I could still hear the music. And so we've realized that for us, staying at like a party hotel maybe isn't ideal because we don't like to party that much before the cruise because we like to party on the cruise. Yeah, and I want to so, wear myself out before. So we like to like use this time to kind of relax, wind down, spend some time together. And so yes, it'll be fun to go like dance later and it's so close, that's nice. But I'm so like, Oh my god, is it going to be so loud at 2 a.m. when we're trying to sleep? We didn't sleep last night. And I'll show you. Tonight the party's not downstairs. Tonight the party's at the rooftop, okay? What do you think? I don't know. I believe so. Okay, I think maybe I'm wrong. Either right there <laughs> will be the party or up there. Oh, you're saying like we're literally right above us. So I literally think it's one of those two where it's going to be the party. And... I just hope that it's not too loud so we can actually sleep tonight. I feel like we sound like old people like saying that. I feel like, <laughs> why are we complaining about being loud when we knew we were going to come here? It's not that we, I think we're just, I, it's unexpected. That's, that's all it is. It's just surprising that it's as loud as it is. Cause even at Temptation Resort, I didn't feel like it was quite this loud. It's because, it's because it's only five stories tall and like the six story is the club so like you're just yeah. so close like in temptation you like have to go to the party and so i'm not like, like we chose it i mean i totally understand people are partying here that's great but i'm saying for us because we're gonna party for the next five days i didn't realize that being in a more quiet environment before probably would have been even more beneficial so i was yeah. more energized to party harder on the cruise <laughs> Got it. so really excited like i'd love to watch movies or tv shows while we're in a hotel room and the TV didn't move out, which that's okay, but there's there's no channels. It's just this ad. It's not even like a new, it's just an ad. 
It's that's, not even a what? Like a news channel. Like Oh, I thought you said it's not even a nude ad. No. It's just an ad. No, <laughs> it's not even like a news channel. Like literally, it's just an Try ad. Like guy. And look, TV mutes it, and that's the only thing. Guy doesn't work. These don't work. Channel doesn't work. You can just change the volume, mute it, and watch their ad. <laughs> Y'all look at how slugging I am right now. I am very hydrated. Except I didn't get all my makeup off. Don't judge. You hear that? We're trying to go to sleep now. It's almost 2 a.m. We did choose this hotel. This is our fault. I know. But as a it's advice funny. to anybody who wants to go on a swinger cruise and you don't want to party too much before, I would not stay here unless you want to party every night. And you don't want to sleep. If you want to stay in this area in South Beach, go stay at the Essex Hotel, which is, I think they're a partner hotel, so you can still get into the pool party and rooftop party without paying a cover. But you know what? It's quiet over there. We went to dinner. Oh, this is an update. We went to dinner and hung out with two of our couple friends. Actually, one was a couple that we met last year. And then they invited another couple. And they are awesome. And so we had a lot of fun. We went to dinner. And then we, well, we kind of just hung out with them. Because they actually ended up getting sushi. And since we had already just eaten sushi and McDonald's, we decided not to eat. I did get a Diet Coke, though. And now I'm a... Diet Coke early, and I'm obsessed with Diet Coke, and I need to go get a Diet Coke tomorrow, okay? <laughs> what was I going with that? Um, oh, yeah, both of those couples are staying at the Essex Hotel. That's where I was going with that. Quiet. Yeah, and they said it's quiet, and, you, and they can sleep. It's you know what we wanted. can't do? Sleep. All I want to do is sleep. It's the next morning. And okay, it's not morning. It's like 12.30. Yeah. Well, we spent the whole morning just kind of like hanging out in our room, relaxing. Sleeping. We actually did get Slept like sleep. 11 hours. Yeah. It was Your poor so glasses. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we decided to come to the beach and we're like, it hasn't rained all morning. And literally you could see the ground was legitimately like getting wet as we walked over here and like 20 people left the beach as we got here. Hey, there's still but people here. It's actually got, not that bad. We got, that's why I love to stay at the beach. It's not <laughs> that bad. <laughs> it's really not that bad. So, like, I shouldn't have worn these glasses. Uh, I should have put my contacts in. I was like, it's overcast. I don't need that. But now we're just chilling at the beach. It feels pretty cool, but it's like a nice breeze. Like, I'm happy with the temperature. I feel like it's actually raining less. <laughs> yeah. I cannot thank you seriously with your glasses. You didn't bring any uh, glasses, like, cleaner than Jim. Yeah, this, 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 this is just me. This is me now. Just take them off, of course. Yeah. Just take them off. Ah. <laughs> Blue and tan. I don't really know what we have planned for today. Well, well that's why our friends get in this tonight. evening. So I'm sure we'll just like, go to someone's room and just chill and hang out and talk. But they're but, not staying over here. But, I mean, people are staying down the street. Other people are staying next door. Like, there's that's a bunch true. of people staying here. So I think people will come to our area because there's, like, a group of us here. So. Yeah. Guys, I didn't think about it. And I didn't seal my little shrinky dink charm. So it's all coming off. It didn't even make it to the cruise. <laughs> so normally they have all of like the flying ads up here in the sky. I don't, I don't know if it's because it's right or like bad weather, but look at this. I've never seen an ad like this. Look at that. It's a boat with an ad. Just look at that. It's just floating in the ocean like that. That's crazy. These people are eating and look at all these birds that have decided to come <laughs> and visit them. They actually have bikes. At our hotel. So we're gonna use the bikes and just like ride down this street right here. It started to rain really bad again, so I don't know how long we're gonna ride for, but it's fun. I put my shoes in sport mode. <laughs> nice. I just really wish it wasn't raining. It'd be so much more fun if it wasn't raining, but at least they have these nice bike lanes here, so it's not too difficult to bike. So it's telling us to go up here. I hope we're allowed to ride up here. I don't see why we couldn't. But Bella wants to go to Ross because she's looking for this hair clip that our friend had last night. And then we're going to stop and pick up some food to have for lunch. So the bikes are going to make this trip so much faster, so much easier, and so much more fun. And look, there's just an ocean right there. It's so fun. We made it. There Bella goes to look for her thing. Also, it got super raining, so we're like pretty dang wet. But that's okay. The weather's like pretty warm here, so it's like one of those nice warm rains. So I don't really mind it, 
but it definitely would be more fun if it wasn't raining, but I'm just so thankful they had these bikes because it made it so much fun to like ride down the beach like that. Can you see the rain through there? It's really going. Whenever we were out in the rain earlier, all of our clothes got wet. And so I saw on TikTok that these people have this hack to make this makeshift blow or uh, dryer. And look, so I put our clothes in here and then you do this. And we're gonna see if it works. So I think that it's a little bit later in the night and we're about to go get dinner with our friends. But we rode those bikes earlier. It was pouring down rain. We got home, we just kind of took a nap and, and sat around. But I think that riding those bikes might be my favorite thing I've ever done in Miami, like ever. <laughs> Other was, than like get onto a cruise ship. Yeah, but. but as far as like an actual Miami activity, I thoroughly enjoyed that. What did you think? I loved it. And it was so like the um, over by the beach walk area. It was like the most perfect place to go on a walk or go on a bike ride. And we've never been over in that section before. Yeah. And so it was so awesome. And the bikes were included with the hotel and yeah. like nobody else was using it. And we did get like drenched being out there. I wish it was sunny. It would have been a lot more fun, but it was still fun even though it was raining. It was almost fun even riding home in the rain because we could take a shower. I don't know. It was just such a good time. But so now we're gonna go get dinner. We will film our our food in there. I don't think we really like show everybody that's in there, but we're going to go to a place that you found. It's yeah. actually pretty close because it's still pouring, but at least this place is closer. I don't have to walk too far. Have an umbrella. You guys, look at my shirt. Yeah, I love this shirt. Look at it. Well, I think we're going to like a fancy or fancy as I'm wearing this. We literally don't have like very many vanilla clothes. We just usually don't go to dinners and stuff before the cruise, so. It'd be super fun if we could sit outside, but clearly we cannot sit outside. We had an amazing dinner with our friends. So we did film our food, but that's really the only thing we could we could film. But it was such a nice time just seeing some other friends who just landed and a nice meal. And now we're gonna go to sleep, get on the cruise tomorrow. So we're gonna end this vlog here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and comment down below if you have any questions, and we will talk to you in the next one. Bye!